The footage captured by the dash cam is just plain scary. Imagine this. You're driving down a dark, deserted road when out of nowhere, a woman suddenly appears in the middle of the road waving her arms. The driver, Guan Zi, is clearly startled and quickly flicks on his high beams, hoping she'll move aside. But she doesn't. Instead, she stands there, unmoving, forcing him to consider what to do next. Then it gets even creepier. She's barefoot. As the driver tries to pass her, she starts moving toward the car, her behavior so unsettling that it nearly causes him to lose his cool. The fear and uncertainty in that moment are palpable, and all he wants to do is get away as fast as possible. A motorcyclist who happens to witness the scene doesn't hesitate. He speeds up, wanting nothing to do with this eerie encounter. As the woman inches closer, the driver seizes the moment and tries to overtake her when she's not looking. But even as he drives away, he's left with a deep sense of regret, wondering if he'll ever dare to drive at night again. The woman in the video looks normal enough, but it's hard not to wonder, was she in need of help or was this some sort of twisted prank? Whatever the truth may be, the whole scene is deeply disturbing, leaving you to question the fine line between good and evil. What would you do in this situation? It's enough to send shivers down your spine and make you think twice before venturing out on a lonely road at night. What initially seems to be just another star in the night sky soon reveals itself to be something far more unsettling. This object hovering with an eerie stillness defies all conventional explanations. Its peculiar shape and the intense lights radiating from it are like nothing we've ever seen, almost as if it's been plucked straight from the pages of a science fiction novel. Some viewers have dared to suggest that what we're witnessing could be a celestial being, an angel perhaps descending to Earth. Others are convinced that this is evidence of an alien spacecraft, a harbinger of an otherworldly presence among us. But could it really be something so extraordinary? Or is this just a bizarre cosmic anomaly? A star behaving in ways no star should? What if it's neither? Could we be seeing something far more profound? Something that challenges our very understanding of reality? Is it possible that this object is a manifestation of something we're not yet equipped to comprehend? A dimensional rift? or perhaps a signal from a parallel universe? This isn't just a strange light in the sky. It could be a clue to something much larger, something that forces us to rethink everything we know about the universe and our place within it. Share your theories in the comments below. But remember, sometimes the most mind-blowing explanations aren't just the stuff of imagination, but a glimpse into a reality that's far stranger than fiction. I've been noticing these objects for a while now, all coming from the same spot and seeing them fly behind the sun had almost become something I expected. But this, this is something else entirely. What's strange is how these objects have shown up within just the last 72 hours, right when there's been intense solar activity, and yet no one's offered an official explanation. Is it just meteors or asteroids, maybe? Could these objects be something we're not yet ready to understand? And why are these events happening now at this exact moment of heightened solar activity? It makes me wonder, what if these sightings are part of a bigger picture that we've only begun to glimpse? Are we overlooking something crucial here? What's your take on this? Could we be on the brink of discovering something that challenges everything we thought we knew? This is one of those moments where science fiction starts to blend with reality, and is both fascinating and a little unsettling. Tonight, imagine getting rid of all of the bad and only remembering the good. Zapping your brain sounds like something out of science fiction movie. But it could potentially help people. CBS2 shows you how scientists are one step closer to actually erasing memories. We call it the Neuralizer. Keep it simple, Slade. Thanks a lot. 
Thank you, Agent K. It's simple. In the movie Men in Black, memories evaporate instantly. Ladies and gentlemen, if you will, look right here. That's Hollywood. But now scientists have made groundbreaking inroads that they say make erasing bad memories more of a possibility than ever before. Think about that for a moment. If we can do this with mice, could humans be next? The implications are huge. Imagine being able to erase the traumatic memories of child abuse or Pete's D, allowing people to recall events without reliving the pain and fear. I think that would be awesome. That would be great. So the animal is walking around in this particular place. At the University of California, Davis, Dr. Brian Wilgen has already proven it in studies with mice. What we do here is deliver the laser stimulation. Using pulses of laser light, he was able to get rid of select bad memories. We were able to turn off a specific memory in mice. This is a really big deal. Mount Sinai neuroscientist Dr. Paula Coxon says it could potentially have many other applications from easing traumatic memories of child abuse to healing the effects of post-traumatic stress disorder or even more what if we could use this technology to help patients with alzheimer's recover the possibilities are incredible emotion and the fear associated with it and she says the research could ultimately lead to innovative treatments for cognitive disorders like alzheimer's we might be able to reactivate those memories and maybe find a new way for those patients to access the locked in memories um, and get some of their memory function back and scientists emphasize all of these studies so far have been done on mice and it could be years before we know whether the same results would actually apply to humans and that brings up so many questions. Should we be messing with our memories like this? What are the ethical implications? Could erasing memories also erase important lessons or parts of who we are? It's one of those scientific breakthroughs that feels like it could change everything. But at what cost? What do you think? Are we ready to take this step or are there some things we're better off remembering no matter how painful? There's been a groundbreaking development in quantum computing that might just change everything we know about energy efficiency. Scientists have discovered that 1.58 dimensions, yes, fractional dimensions, could be the key to unlocking zero lost energy efficiency. If that sounds like a string of mind-bending scientific jargon, you're not alone. But let's dig into why this discovery is so monumental and what it could mean for the future. The first thing that caught my attention is the appearance of the material involved. It resembles the Triforce symbol from mythology and video games, which might make you wonder if we've stumbled upon something more magical than scientific, but this is no fantasy. What you're looking at is bismuth layered over indium, creating a material known as a topological insulator. These materials are peculiar because they insulate on the inside while their surface allows the flow of electricity through complex quantum states. But here's where it gets truly mind-blowing. Scientists in China have managed to manipulate this material so that it operates in fractional dimensions, specifically 1.58 dimensions. Normally, we think of dimensions as whole numbers, 1, 2, 3, and so on. But fractional dimensions exist in a mathematical realm that's almost impossible to wrap your head around. And within this 1.58 dimensional space, they've achieved something extraordinary, nearly lossless energy transfer. The implications of this discovery are enormous. Imagine a world where energy can be transferred without any loss, where power grids, electronic devices, and even quantum computers could operate with near perfect efficiency. The potential to revolutionize global energy consumption is staggering. But as with any groundbreaking technology, there's a catch. These topological insulators need to be kept extremely cold to function, making them challenging to implement on a large scale. For now, yet, the progress is undeniable. By layering bismuth on indium, the scientists have created fractal structures that exhibit zero-dimensional corner modes and lossless one-dimensional edge states. Concepts that defy conventional understanding but are essential for the next generation of quantum computing. 
an almost perfect on-and-off state that could push computing power to unimaginable heights. We're looking at the dawn of a new era in technology, one where the boundaries of dimensions, energy, and reality itself are being pushed to their limits. It might be years before this reaches mainstream manufacturing, but the possibilities it opens up are nothing short of revolutionary. We might just be on the brink of harnessing a power that feels more like magic than science.